बार मैग्नेट और यू कैन से मैग्नेटिक डायपोल इन ए यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फिल्ड लेट ए बार मैग्नेट बी प्लेस इन ए यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फिल्ड लेट अस से हियर इज एन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फिल्ड ऑफ स्टेट बी एंड वी प्लेस ए बार मैग्नेट दिस इज ए बार मैग्नेट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक लेंथ 2m its north pole is here its south pole is here and the axis of the axis of the magnetic dipole makes an angle theta with the direction of the uniform magnetic field rather you can say also that magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment capital m magnetic dipole moment capital m makes an angle theta with the uniform magnetic field pole strength of each pole strength of each uh, pole is qm we have already said that there is a magnetic field surrounding a magnet and whether that is uh, that field is strong or weak we know uh, from our uh, concept of magnetic field lines if the magnetic field lines are concentrated then you can say there is a strong magnetic field if uh, the magnetic field lines are uh, spaced apart then you can say that magnetic field lines a uh, magnetic field is weak now you have to define magnetic field strength what is magnetic field strength as we have defined electric field strength as the force on unit positive charge like here we can define also the force on unit north pole force on a north pole of unit strength is defined as the magnetic field strength at that point that means if here is a magnetic field then just we have to put here a north pole of unit fill unit pole strength and measure the force on that unit north pole and that will be the magnetic field strength at this point but remember here it is just for definition it is just for definition why this is definition because you cannot on that way you cannot measure the magnetic field why because you cannot get the unit magnet a unit north pole you cannot get a north pole because magnetic monopole do not exist you cannot get any monopole that's why it is just for the definition of our theory in practical case you cannot get the any magnetic north pole or any magnetic south pole always you can get north pole and south pole in a same magnet now uh, this uh, field strength b is if your magnetic field strength b what do you mean by that what do you mean by that i mean that if we place here a north pole of unit pole strength then it will experience a force of b right this is the definition of magnetic field strength now uh, these two poles have the pole strength qa then we can say at this point the magnetic field strength of the magnetic field b is b then i can say that this magnetic pole experiences a 
force force amounting qm into b along this direction because this is a north pole so force will be along this direction but its strength is qm so force is qm into b similarly the force on the south pole of strength qm will be qm into b along this direction that is opposite to the applied magnetic field or opposite to the external magnetic field now see here these two forces have the same magnitude but opposite direction therefore net force will be zero that means net force acting on the bar magnet placed in a uniform electric uh, magnetic field is zero but see here the lines of the two forces are not same but these forces constitute a couple this force is in this direction and this force is in this line so there is a difference there is a difference between the two line of action so these two forces form a couple right two equivalent opposite forces separate by a distance forms a couple and this couple tends to rotate the magnet in the direction of the field see ya force acting on this point is along this direction this is what it what it does these two force tends to align the magnet along the magnetic field thus the magnet experiences a torque and torque acting on the bar magnet torque acting on the bar magnet now is what what do you mean by torque we know torque is the magnitude of force into perpendicular distance between the two force that means magnitude of force into perpendicular distance between the forces if this point is uh, say uh, o then force is qm into b and what is the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance is this that is no let us say this is z then nz is the perpendicular distance now nz by ns if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta therefore uh, nz divided by ns what is this this is sin theta right therefore you can say nz equals to ns sin theta ns sin theta and ns is magnetic length of the magnet that is 2l sin theta therefore you can write this as qm into v into 2l sin theta or we can write qm into 2l into b sin theta or we may write this as uh, tau equals to capital m b sin theta where capital m is equal to qm into 2l is called the magnetic moment rather magnetic dipole moment of the bar magnet right uh, and see here you can write this torque in vector form m cross b you can see we know the direction of a cross product see this is the direction of m this is the direction of b now what will be the direction of m cross b m cross b if we rotate this from 
m to b then the screw going into the wall that means is try to rotate the magnet along the field along the magnetic field right and which we already told that that uh, these two forces one to or tends to rotate the magnet along the magnetic field now this is the this is our torque acting on a bar magnet placed in a uniform magnetic field this type of total reduction you have do, done before when an electric dipole is placed in an uniform electric field it experiences a torque and that torque was tau is equal to p cross e where p is the electric dipole moment and e is the electric field strength like that expression you can compare this expression with our electrostatics tau equals to p cross e now from here we can define magnetic dipole moment from here you can define magnetic dipole moment if b equals to 1 if b equals to 1 and theta equals to 90 degree then tau equals to a into 1 into sin 90 degree that is tau equals to a is it If b equals to one, theta is to ninety degree, then tau equals to n. Put one, sin ninety is one, then tau equals to n. Now from here you can define magnetic dipole moment. This magnetic dipole moment can be defined as the torque acting on a magnetic dipole placed normal to a uniform magnetic field of unit strength. magnetic dipole moment can be defined as the torque experienced by a magnetic dipole placed normal 